Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Sammy Caps. Today, I'm going to do two things in this video. Number one, I'm going to share my league starter for Necropolis, Path of Exile 3.24 League. And I also want to address the common concerns that always get highlighted and mentioned when players are discussing whether or not to play Path of Exile. And I bring this up only because in the last week since I've announced that I was going to be playing Necropolis, I've gotten a lot of questions on, I've never played Path of Exile, should I play it? And then naturally what comes after that are all the reasons why players don't wanna try Path of Exile. So in this video, I'm also going to give you my rationale on why I believe you should give it a try and kind of not listen to those reasonings. And, and I'll explain why in this video, and I'll share my story of how I had the same thoughts, um, but now I play Path of Exile. So I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so... As far as my league starter for Necropolis, well, I'm gonna go with something that is probably gonna be one of the most popular league starters, uh, and that is the Elementalist Detonate Dead. This is a build that I've played before, so I'm familiar with it now. It's been a while since I played Path of Exile. Um, I played probably the first month of 3.23, and then I kind of moved on from that. But I'm going to go back to what I know. And that is the the Elementalist Detonate Dead. Now this one is going to be probably one of the more popular builds that everyone is going to be playing. From what I understand. Uh, it's going to be a pretty, hopefully a pretty good league starter. And I'm going to be playing the trade league, so things might get a little bit expensive, but we'll see how things go. But I wanted to share with everybody that I'm going to be playing something familiar to me, and that's the Elementalist Detonate Dead. I love the play style. Now, it is a two-button play style, which is a little bit concerning, but we'll see how it goes. There is an alternate, and you can make it a one-button uh, uh, play style, but I'm going to stick to the two button. It's what I know. And, uh, hopefully all goes well. And as you can see, this thing just lights up the screen, has very high mobility, high damage, clears, uh, clears the screen really nicely. It can also get night. You can also get very tanky with it. So it's something that I'm familiar with and that, um, I'm excited to play with in Necropolis and all the new stuff that's happening in Necropolis. So that is my league starter. Okay, so I wanted to raise this issue because the last couple of days on my streams, I've been getting asked, you know, what's my league starter? But also I've had players ask me, you know, Sammy, I've never played Path of Exile. What do you think? I don't know if I have the time and I heard it's very, it's a very complicated game to understand. You need a PhD, kind of all that kind of jazz, right? So I just want to dissect this um, issue that comes up every time Path of Exile is mentioned. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to share my story of how I started playing Path of Exile. Because like most of the comments that I get on my live streams about, oh, you need a PH, I heard you need a PhD to play a Path of, Path of Exile. Um, I'll show you my story. So for many years, when I was in between games, I was, you know, I would go through, okay, geez, what should I play? You know, and as a streamer, that's, that's a very big decision because it impacts your stream and therefore exposure and, and, and getting people to come and watch your live streams. Um, so for me, it was, it was a very serious question and I took a lot of um, 
time trying to figure out what to play. Now, every time I was in between games, Path of Exile kept coming up in my thoughts. Oh, Path of Exile. Everyone talks about Path of Exile, Path of Exile. And like, the, like most of you that are on the fence right now, what I kept telling myself, well, I hear you got to play thousands of hours just to scratch the surface of the game. You got to have, you got to go to multiple external websites. You need a PhD. It's a very difficult game to understand. The skill tree is enormous, all that stuff, right? So for many years, every time I was in between games, I would discard PoE for that logic, right? And then 3.23, uh, sorry, 3.21 came out and I, w I saw the marketing around it and I'm like, oh my God, Path of Exile. I was in between, I was searching for a game to play. Uh, I was in between games and so I started, should I try PoE? Oh, and then all that stuff, the arguments kept coming into me, into my mind, right? Like, oh, it's difficult. You know, the same stuff. And I said, you know what? I'm never going to know whether all that is true until I try it for myself. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I'm going to try it. And if I don't like it, and if it's true, it's so complicated. Uh, the barrier of entry is very high for new players. If that's all true, then I'll just stop playing it. Because PoE is free. doesn't cost you anything. Um, so... That's what I did. So 3.21, I believe, was the Crucible League. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was the Crucible League. Uh, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. And so I said, screw it. I'm going to try it. And, you know, I did my research. Don't get me wrong. I looked up kind of play styles and I looked up, you know, tools that you needed because this is what I everyone hears is that you need external resources to kind of help you. And I dove into 3.21 and I have to say it was the best decision I ever made because I fell in love with the game. And now it's a game that I go in and out of when the league that is being introduced or the new league, if it entices me, I jump in and I play it for as long as I play it. And then I go play other games. Um, but my point is, I would have never discovered that if I didn't try. And I'm imploring you to do the same. And with the following logic, okay? It's complicated, it's PhD. Just take this approach. This is what I recommend. At the end of the day, you do what you want. Take this as little chunks at a time. And what do I mean by that is, what do I mean by that is don't go in to your ex first experience with Path of Exile with the premise that you are not going to be a pro player in the very first league that you play. And you're not going to understand everything when you first play Path of Exile. And accept the fact that that's okay. Just think of this as like when you went to school and you got your degree. Okay, first year, second year, third year, fourth year. And as you went every year, you got more comfortable with the curriculum. You became more knowledgeable. And by the end of it, hopefully, you were a lot smarter than you were at the beginning when you started your degree. So the, I would take the same approach with Path of Exile. Go into 3.24 Necropolis League with just with the mindset of saying, okay, this league, I'm going to play it and I'm going to take the, uh, this opportunity to kind of build the foundation for myself. So pick a class, pick a character. Oh, but the skill tree is so overwhelming. I don't know what to do. So I would recommend getting a build guide. Okay. There are a lot of videos and you can basically have your hand held and they'll tell you exactly which skill to pick at every level, what gear to have. And so you don't have to worry. And the beauty of that is while you're doing that, you will learn the skill tree. 
And when you really dissect the massive skill tree of Path of Exile, it's not that daunting. And really, it's dissected by the classes that are in the game. And you, there's a search feature in the skill tree, which if you wanted to, for example, you know, you wanted to pump health or 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 you wanted to pump a certain type of damage, you can search for it and it'll show you the nodes on the skill tree. Um, but my point is, take the, you got to crawl before you walk, you got to walk before you run. So take this league as your crawling time, learning how to crawl, right? If that makes any sense. So get a build guide so it'll hold your hand and you can navigate the skill tree without the burden of, oh my God, what do I do next? Okay. And then get yourself some, what I would say, much needed tools to make your journey a little bit more user friendly. And so one of them obviously is the build guide. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're adventurous and you have a lot of experience building characters and you're, you, you gather information and process it quickly and understand how certain features of skills and the gems in Path of Exile work and you want to adventure and go down that path, then by all means, this game will allow you to build your own character and you know, fumble or fail or succeed. And, and if you're okay with that, then by all means, go ahead and build your own character. It, it's not that bad. Um, now, just remember, it takes a long time to understand all the dynamics and the layers that are involved in building a character in Path of Exile. That is true. So if, if, if you accept that, then go ahead. And if you're okay with falling and failing with a build, then, you know, lesson learned, right? Um, so you can build your own if you want. I'm just trying to make it easy for the people that are really thinking of the daunting task of learning all this stuff. Uh, a build guide will help ease that transition. As far as the resources that I suggest that you have the loot filter. I highly suggest you get a loot filter. And there's a website, filterblade.xyz. You go on this website and there are ways that you can customize your own, but there's also ways that you can just pick ones that they've already created. And there's ones for hardcore, there's ones for softcore. But bottom line is go on that website and you can grab one right off the shelf and you can get going right away without having the burden of customizing it yourself. I would leave that to a later date, maybe a next league once you have more knowledge. But filterblade.xyz is a great resource. So loot filter, get yourself a loot filter because there's a lot of loot and the last thing you want is wasting time on filtering through loot that you really don't need. And the screen is going to be full of loot and it's going to be annoying, to be quite frank. So get yourself a loot filter, filter filterblade.xyz. Now, if you're interested in understanding all the items in the game, what, you know, all the information around the game, go to PoeDB, that's their database, PoeDB.tw. Guys, all these websites that I'm mentioning are gonna be in the link description of the video. So don't worry about it. But PoeDB is a great resource and it has the Necropolis information that's all in there, so you'll be good. That's also another way to add and educating yourself on everything PoE. I would highly, highly recommend that. Now, if you're playing a trade league, okay, in Path of Exile, you, if you play trade, you can buy and sell 
just about anything in the game, okay? Well, if you plan on doing that, then I highly recommend, because if you're gonna buy and sell, how are you gonna know as a new player what you have, what it's worth? Well, there's a tool called Awakened POE Trade, and again, I'll put the link in the description, and you just download this tool, and in-game, it's literally just control D over the item that you're thinking about selling. It'll do a search. It's live. It'll tell you the what that item similar to that item or that item exactly, how much it's been selling for, you know, and you will get an idea of what the value is of what you're trying to sell, and then you can sell it. And selling, buying and selling in this game is very, very easy. Um, again, Awakened POE Trade will allow you to search, okay, what's this price, what's this item going for right now um, or, or has sold for, right? And that'll give you an idea. You can list it. And then buying and selling on the, in this game is, is now you do it on a, on the trade website, but in game, it's just a matter of going to the person's hideout trading or buying the item exchanging it you both accept the deal it's over and done with it is very simple to do i'm not going to go too deep into the weeds but if you're going to be doing trade in uh, necropolis then definitely get awakened poe trade okay so again i'm trying to keep this simple <laughs> because we could go, th this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I kind of wanted to give a template for the very, very new players that have never played Path of Exile and are contemplating whether or not to try it for Necropolis League. Um, so the things that I mentioned, I think are like the ba very, very basics. This will get you going and um, it, 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 it'll it'll help you navigate things a little bit more effectively. Okay, so those are a couple of tools that I recommend you put in your toolkit if you're going to embark on Necropolis. Now, I want to preface that by saying there are, <laughs> there are a lot more detailed things to mention, guys. I am just highlighting these ones for the purpose of the person that's thinking about getting into Path of Exile for the very first time. So I'm giving you a couple of tools because there's a vast ocean of tools out there for Path of Exile, but I think it would be a little too early to mention them. And it's better for you to, like I said, get your crawling first before you walk. Um, so I would highly recommend, guys, trying Path of Exile. Get yourself the loot filter. Get you th get yourself the tool that I mentioned, Awakened, for being able to search what the current price is of an item you want to sell if you're playing Trade League. And then just dive into the game. Um, it's, it's a very friendly game in the sense that if you go in with a certain expectation, then I think you're going to navigate okay and you'll learn. And the one takeaway, if you're on the fence and are thinking about playing Path of Exile, is go in with the expectation that you're just going to play this league and absorb as much as you can absorb. Don't worry about being a master of Path of Exile right now. That's the approach I took. And every league I play in, I add another layer to the foundation of my knowledge of the game. And I'm far, far from an expert in Path of Exile. But I think I can hold a conversation with someone when discussing Path of Exile. And every league, I learn another new thing. Also, I highly recommend when you get into the game, there are certain things... For like right off the top of my head, there are recipes 
depending on how you sell items to the NPCs, will get you stuff in return. And if you don't know these recipes, you'll be wasting a lot of resources. So right beside in the, the user interface on the bottom of the, your screen, there's a green shop button, and then there's a, a yellow button with an eye on it, okay? That's the help button. It's the help panel. I highly recommend you read every single line of that help panel. It has some really basic information, good information for new players. It goes into how skill gems work, how the passive skill tree is, flasks, your stash, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I would highly also look at the vendor recipes. This gives you a very quick introduction into how you can put things together and sell them to the vendor and get something of more value and useful to you. So I highly recommend guys, right beside the green shop panel on your UI, there is a yellow I button. Go in there, it's the help panel. There's a lot of good information there. I, I uh, Please spend 10 minutes reading that. It'll be very useful 10 minutes of your time and will help you be more successful in this game. Okay, that's it guys. Don't be scared by this game. There is a lot. There's a, I'm just, this is the tip of the iceberg, everything that I mentioned, but don't let that scare you. If you have time, if you have, if you like ARPGs, um, I, I, I suggest you seriously consider playing this because number one, it's free. Doesn't cost you anything. Worst thing that's going to happen, you're going to download the game, you're going to go in it, and it's not for you, and then so be it. Didn't cost you a thing, nothing but your time. Okay? Now, if you do download it and you play it and you're like, oh my God, I'm actually liking this, and wow, this is great. I I, I like the game. I'm, I'm, I, oh, I learned this, I learned that, and, and it grabs you, um, then great absorb as much as you can learn as much as you can there's a the beauty of the era and age that we live in right now is all the information that you need is at your fingertips so you can research everything i'm 200 percent sure whatever you want to know you're one search cue away from finding the information um so don't be shy of stopping the game, going on the internet and researching what is troubling you. And there's a lot of great content creators in Path of Exile that have a lot of great content about everything about this game, which you could hi you which you could access, obviously. But don't let all the negative things around Path of Exile. It's hard, PhD, Excel spreadsheets. I don't have a hundred spreadsheets open. Now, maybe some players do, um, but just go in with the expectation of this. You're just going to try and, and see how you like it. And I think you'll learn to appreciate this game and just play as much as you want to play. And then if it does grab you, maybe next league you go in with already the foundation that you got from the Necropolis League and then 3.25, you'll be going in with more knowledge and it's just you're building your layer of knowledge in the game and before you know it you know you, you you know a lot about path of exile and this is a game that takes a long time to learn but it doesn't mean all these players that have been playing for a long time they started somewhere too right they started from zero that's it that's my spiel i hope it gives you some more information to make your decision. Now, at the end of the day, you decide what you want to do, whether or not you want to try it out. I was just trying to show everyone that everyone started from zero 
And some of these players, yes, they've been playing it for a long time and they're very knowledgeable. And don't get me wrong. This game has a lot of layers. There's a lot to it, absolutely. But everyone started from nothing. And all I'm saying is this game is not that daunting if you don't allow it to be, if that makes any sense. So I hope this was educational. And for those of you that are interested, you can catch me playing Necropolis, the Necropolis League and Path of Exile this Friday. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a while since I played Path of Exile. Come and watch my live stream. I live stream on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Come over, say hello. I would love to have you. Hey, heck, if you're a seasoned POE veteran, Maybe you can give me some tips and tools and make my league more successful. I'm looking forward to it because, like I said, my Path of Exile journey started in 3.21. And every league, I look forward to adding another layer of knowledge in Path of Exile. So come on in and come over, say hello. I stream every evening on Twitch. I usually around 7, between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love to have you and have a chat. Come on in, Sammy Caps at Twitch. Anyway, I hope you found this video informative and let me know in the comments if this helped or for you seasoned veterans out there, if I missed anything critical, please jump into the comments section and provide them. And all the tools that I mentioned in this video I will put links to them in this video description. Thanks everyone. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.